What's the first thing that came to mind when you watched the old-time classics Highlander series? Of course, immortality. Highlander, there can be only one. Who wouldn't want to live forever, right? As it seems, few animals of this earth have found the elixir of immortality. Well, nearly immortal, unless an external force or interference comes into play. So here is our list of animals that can't die. The last one is a living Greek mythology. But before we start, hit that red subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss out on any of our videos. American Lobster Yeah, we know. Who would have believed that your favorite continental seafood can't die? Who thought that this ordinary animal has unlocked the secrets to live forever? But it doesn't mean that it cannot be killed. Of course, otherwise how we would have eaten it in the first place. Every year they are caught in huge numbers to feed the population, but it does hold an immortal secret and the tendency to live. Unlike most living beings who stop growing after a certain age, this isn't the case for the American lobsters. They continue to grow by every passing second. They even have the ability to regrow a limb in case it has been cut off. Most animals, including humans, grow weaker as they grow older. But it's just the opposite with the American lobster. The older the lobster gets, the stronger it becomes. In 2009, a fisherman caught a gigantic 19-pound lobster that was around 3 feet tall. This lobster was around 140 years old, and the funny thing is, it isn't even the oldest one found yet. There are more. The bar was already set high when people found a 44-pound lobster roughly 5 feet tall in a town in western Kenya. I bet it was delicious. You might be wondering, how many years can these lobsters survive if not eaten? The answer is forever, as it can't die on its own. Ming the Clam Meet Ming, a simple old clam. He wakes up, he eats, he reproduces, and then boom, 500 years have gone by. Yeah, you heard it right. This clam, called Ming, came to be in 1499. Since then, it went on surviving, surviving, and surviving until he was dredged off the coast of Iceland in 2006 and given to scientists who were happy to find him and begin to study him. But that's the thing with scientists. They either make things or break things. God knows what came to their mind to mess up with this particular, until now immortal clam, as the British researchers, unaware of the animal's exceptional age, froze the specimen and opened up its shell, killing it in the process. According to research, it was found that if it hadn't been accidentally killed by the scientists, the clam would probably be living until today. But let's be honest, someone always has to mess things up with nature. Immortal Jellyfish Sometimes immortality isn't just about living an eternal life. It can also mean changing from one form to another based on the situation and what life demands from it for survival. You might say a type of natural recycling process of some sort. This is the case for this particular species of jellyfish. This pink beauty just unlocked the easiest possible way to survive the harsh environment. This jellyfish, when it dies, its dead body, or the dying medusa, sinks to the bottom and becomes a ball-shaped mass of cells. These cells are absorbed by the soil in the water and turned into benthic polyps. These polyps are the exact same mass as of the cells in the mass produced by the dying medusa. Then the walls of the polyps produce baby jellyfishes known as ephrae. These babies grow up just like their mama, an adult jellyfish called the medusa. Just like every creature, these jellyfishes reproduce, also giving rise to gametes similar to the prior mass of cells. Then these gametes again get absorbed by the soil and the same cycle goes on and on. Well, you might be wondering, there must be at least something that might be interrupting this infinite cycle, right? This jellyfish only dies if it's eaten by another animal. Tardigrades We are sure that this is the first time you might be hearing the name of this creature. The real pleasure is just waiting till you see how it looks, you might question its existence on the same planet as you. An alien, probably. No, there is no such scientifically proven thing as aliens, but tardigrades exist and are well proven as well. Nicknamed as water bears and moss piglets, these strange looking organisms are probably the coolest species nature has ever produced. They have it all. They are super tough, and when we say tough, we mean it. They can survive at least a month or two without food or water. They can even tolerate temperatures as high as 300 degrees Fahrenheit a pressure more than 600 pounds, and a temperature even as low as the ceasing point. No wonder these tardigrades are mostly found living in the Himalayas, 
the polar regions, and as well as the equator. These creatures are so enduring that scientists believe that even if all life on the planet ceased to exist or a zombie apocalypse takes place, these guys will just be fine and well. Planarians What's unusual with normal flatworms creeping around everywhere, right? Well, it's their amazing ability to shapeshift that has taken scientists aback. You just can't cut this creeper out. They have a special ability to grow into a new organism as soon as a part of it is cut. It's simple math with this one. If you cut a single planarian into three parts, boom! You get a set of whole new three different healthy planarians. I mean, it's not a magic act, but it takes them a couple of weeks to perform this stunt. It's one of the best examples of regeneration that nature has produced. Apart from regeneration, they really have a flexible, slimy body, which we hate to see, but they love to have. It's like a defense mechanism for them against any extreme condition. They can creep in, roll out, push under, and even burn out. These initial members of the animal kingdom are probably living the dream life with an inborn superhero costume. They regenerate in any shape and in any side in all the possible directions. Just give it some time. Jonathan the Tortoise What's new with turtles and long lifespans? When we draw a picture in our heads, titled Immortality, probably turtles are the first one that comes to mind. Tortoises are known to live longer than usual. So what's special with this particular tortoise, Jonathan? This is the favorite pet of Governor of St. Helena. It was the year 1832 when Jonathan hatched. After that, he's been living lavishly in the private property of the governor only. The deal with Jonathan is that he is the oldest known living land animal. It is also the oldest tortoise. This year, Jonathan would probably be 189 years old. Although he has lost his sense of smell and eyesight, he can still hear things and respond to them well. And the funny part is that Jonathan is still discovering his sexuality as an island vet who was treating his partner for 26 years for a lesion on her shell realized it's actually a male. Greenland Shark when we talk about the largest vertebrates, sharks are always in question. But very few of us might have heard about the Greenland sharks. These bad boys are the species having the longest lifespan of the entire vertebrate species. Scientists estimated that these sharks might live as long as twice or thrice as much as Jonathan the tortoise. And this is just their average lifespan, which roughly calculates to 300 to 500 years. Recently, scientists discovered a backbencher of the same school having lived for more than 500 years. And these sharks don't stop growing until they die. Hydra The first and foremost species that we learn as soon as we enter high school biology is no doubt a hydra. These are extremely small freshwater creatures who constantly regenerate. They have several heads, not like in the snakes of Hindu mythology or the MCU, but they are simply buddies, as they reproduce by budding. Poor joke accepted. These organisms are so small that we wonder why scientists would be interested in them at all, if it weren't for their immortal business. Once, in 1998, scientists observed hydras in a container for four years straight, and they noticed that these stubborn, too-afraid-to-die organelles didn't even age a bit. They looked exactly the same as they did when they were first brought into the lab. Then, as per calculations, it was found out that they are capable of staying alive as long as 10,000 years as well. It's simple if the cells in your body keep regenerating, would you ever die? I guess they hold the holy grail of immortality. After watching this video, we know you must be thinking, wish I was immortal, but we bet it's not as fun as it looks. Heck, just ask Brad Pitt. He chose one man. He gave him eternal life. Let us know in the comments section below your favorite immortal animal. Also, don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more. Until then, see you on the next one.